Anthony Davis. One of the most unique talents in the NBA. I see a lot of myself in him. And I can't wait to face him and see if I can get the upper hand. I know I'm still a rookie, but it's the ultimate test to see where my game is at right now. And I live for these moments. So bring it on, Brow. From New Orleans, 2K Sports proudly brings you NBA basketball from the home of the Pelicans. Last game for the Pacers, they pick up the W against the Magic in Orlando. Guys, kind of a battle there. They pulled out a four-point win, though. Right, ready to go? And, Kevin, you know, ready they showed how important it is to have a strong bench. I mean, when you are on the road, that depth is vital. I think they really utilized the second unit to extend their offensive assault and just really wore down their opponent. And guys, I think what you saw from them throughout the game was teamwork. This is a team. Regardless of who was out there on the floor at any given time, they got it done. And that has to make sense. For Gordon, and Cole subbed in for Drew Holiday. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Mahimi's checked in for Allen. Solomon Hill comes in for George. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Ellis. And it's Green in for Hill. Green dishes to Mahimi. Pass to Hill. And the bucket counts. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go. But it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Well, for Jordan Hill, something wonderful happened to him last season. The breakthrough he'd been waiting for on his sixth year. Yeah, Kevin, you know, it had to do, and I think correlated with him getting a chance to start games, and it blew up for him from there. Posted career-high averages across the board. Pacers leading by six. Green up on top. Covered by Evans. Green kicks to Hill. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Pacers shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And he can't get the first one. The Pelicans making a switch here. Perkins is checked in. And he sinks the second. For the New Orleans Pelicans, their last game a loss to Dallas. And you don't have to go too deep into the box score to figure out why they lost that when they just had an inability on that day to make shots. You know, sometimes we talk about a defense getting into the heads of the opposing players, Greg, but that night, they got up in their own heads. Just got in their own way and couldn't get out of it. Now running up the court, Evans trying to push it up. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Oh, nice play there to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. Just a whisker away from coming up with the steal there. One oh five left to play in the first quarter. Here's Babbitt. He's guarded by Hill. Here's Evans, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That's on Rodney Stuck. And guys, Tyreek Evans is so versatile. Great instincts, well-developed skill set. He can beat you every way you turn. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And back to Tyreek Evans. He's a big, muscular guy for a wing. Seven-foot wingspan, that arm span we've all admired and read so much about. Too strong for off-guards. Too quick for small forwards. He's 
He's kind of got a ubiquitous position. He does. And, Kevin, you know, it's funny. A, a lot of people have tried to place him in a box mm -hmm. in terms of position. Instead of just saying he's a basketball player, the guy's strong. He's got tremendous physical attributes. Combine that with the ball handling and his confidence, and it gives you an interesting mix. I mean, he's one of the more unique, multifaceted guys we have in our league. It's Evans on the way. Five to shoot. That's the Babbitt. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Cole, a three-pointer is right on target. Cole's got five now. Now, here's Green. The shot, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. And one of the rising stars in the NBA is Anthony Davis. His offensive game is growing by leaps and bounds. A lot of face-up. You know, um, you know, like to do is one dribble pull-up. You know, like to do the one dribble just fade back off one leg. I haven't got there yet, you know. Um, but, you know, catching the ball at the, at the elbow. You know, catching the ball at the nail. Well, I tell you, you could be uh, here an awfully long time if we're going to list all the different moves Anthony Davis can hurt you with. Yeah, the brow. Definitely. Group substitution here for New Orleans. Alexis Aginsa has checked in for Asha. Luke Babbitt comes in for Anderson. Tyreek Evans has checked in for Eric Gordon. And it's Norris Cole in for Drew Holiday. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. CJ Jordan Miles. Hill, he's checked in for Mahini. C.J. Miles comes in for Lavoy Allen. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. And it's Green in for Hill. Norris Cole is out there with Tyreek Evans. Then it's Alexis Aginsa. And there's Davis. And it's Babbitt in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Magic, stepped up to deliver. He picked up five points, and the basket seemed pretty big to him. He didn't miss a whole lot all night. It was a great contribution from someone who is considered a bit more of a role player on his team. Good job as always, Doris. Thank you, guys. What was your take on his performance? Kevin, I really felt like he left it all out on the floor. I'll, I'll say this. It, it was a great, hard-charging effort. Guys, when he's on, nobody's more fun to watch. And he was definitely on in that game. Knocked away. Let's it go from 11. Stucky can't get it to go. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. And they've made an effort to get to the line here in the first half, guys, and it's starting to pay off. Another thing they've been able to really get going so far tonight has been the three ball, the long-range shooting. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Perkins, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. And it's Anderson in for Luke Babbitt. The Pacers also with a sub. Allen's checked in. Pelicans leading by 12. Evans outside. Kicks it to Anderson. They set the pick. Evans passes to Cole, and he gets the bucket. Cole's got the lead up to 14 now for the Pelicans. Well, here in the second, not as listless. They're showing some signs of life offensively. You know, steadying themselves. After a tough start, they're back on track. Offensive rebound. Allen's shot is off. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. Cole dishes to Evans. Launches it. And the Pelicans get it back. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Well, it's obvious the difference in this quarter has been their dominance on the offensive boards. You have plenty of second chance points. Also keeps the opponent out of transition, not resting on their lead, staying active. Green missing again. At the elbow, it's Cole. Here's a Jinsa. Pacers with the rebound. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. An interconference matchup. Last season, they went 2-0 against this club. And guys, when you've got two teams like these on the...
we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. New Orleans making some changes here. Alexis Achinsa has checked in for Ash. Evans comes in for Anderson. And it's Norris Cole in for Drew Holiday. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Hill, he's checked in for Mahini. Hill comes in for LaVoy Allen. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. And it's Green in for Hill. On the court for Indiana. Stuckey and George make up the perimeter. Hill is out there with Solomon Hill. And it's Green in at the one spot. He's their go-to guy. And when he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Well, whether you call him the brow or Ant or the future, Anthony Davis made the leap in year three to franchise superstar. I mean, still, though, he remains humble, determined to improve, and, and dedicated to maximizing his immense potential. Fellas, he just is struggling to get anything going. Right now, his shooting percentage in the quarter, 20%. Here's Gordon, and the layup falls. Gordon's got his third basket of the night. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for New Orleans? Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals Go over the, the course ball. of the ballgame. Yeah, and also the way they've been able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight has also helped. Here's Cole. Rodney Stuckey pulls it in. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. From past the arc, a shot's good on the assist by George. For three. Stuckey's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Outside, Gordon. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. The turnover difference hasn't been in their favor, but you know what? 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Probably impossible for them to come back now. Yeah, far too much work left to be done and not nearly enough time to get it done in. Evans and Gordon are the guard set. Alexis Aginsa is out there with Perkins, and it's Anderson in at the three slot. That's the Pelicans' five. So we see the Pelicans take... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, much appreciated. And now let's move on to our Jordan player of the game. Let's get your opinion. You Got to give it up to him for his defensive performance tonight. That was one active set of hands on him. Five steals were the result of his work on the defensive end. And as disruptive as he was on... 